They told me if I ate fruit, I'll lose weight. Now, I don't know what's happened, but when I look at myself in the mirror, I've gained some weight from eating fucking fruit. <laughs> how does this happen? Let me show you how. Two simple reasons why you may be gaining fat on a high carb, low fat lifestyle. Before I give you those two simple tips, I really wanna make sure that I, that, I, that I start with this principle here. A question to you is, how do you know that you're actually gaining weight on a high carb, low fat lifestyle? If you are going by your pictures, then you can notice a physical change that you're gaining body fat, then I will accept that. If you are trying on some clothes and now the clothes are getting very, very small because you're getting big, then I'll accept that. If you have got your body fat tested and you will notice that your body fat levels have actually gone up, then I will accept that. But if you have been stepping on the scales and the number has increased, I will not accept that. Because the scales doesn't always show that because you follow a high carb, low fat lifestyle, that you have gained this bad boy over here. This is fat. The scales doesn't always measure if you're gaining fat. Maybe having more water in your body and that has actually made your weight go up in the scales. You have more food in your digestive system and that may have increased it. There are too many variables. So here are two simple reasons why you you may be gaining fat on a high carb, low fat lifestyle. Is number one, you are eating way too many damn calories. Now, you're saying, Matt, I've heard you in certain videos saying that to eat a lot of calories. Let me actually go to number two and then go back to number one and two again because they work hand in hand. Number one is you're eating too many calories. Number two is that you are not burning enough calories. Fat loss is a very, very simple concept. If you burn more calories than you consume, you will lose fat. Now, keep in mind though, that, some, that this principle is not just this black and white principle, because you can burn more calories, uh, you can burn more calories than you consume and get severely unhealthy during the process. You can go on like a, I've heard someone go on a 500 calorie diet a day, and they're just getting no fiber, so they're probably not shitting at all, getting pimples everywhere, and all this shit is just happening because they're not giving themselves the essential vitamins and nutrients that they need. You can't just go and go, okay, let me just starve myself and, and, and not consume many calories and just burn more calories than I'm consuming, no. The great thing about a high carb, low fat lifestyle is you're eating in abundance, you're eating all these vegetables, you're eating all these fruits, you're having so much vitamins and nutrients go into your system that makes you feel amazing. But sometimes, if you're consuming way too many calories than you are burning, then you're gonna gain some body fat, okay? So here are some simple things that you can do. Two simple things to fix this. One, either you can increase your activity levels to burn more calories than you're consuming, which will result in uh, fat loss, or you can decrease your calories and keep the exact same activity levels, okay? My advice to you is to do a little bit of both, okay? But if you're gonna decrease your calories, track it. If you're following 2100, which I recommend, and you're still gaining body fat on that, then go down by like 300 or 400. Or a smart thing you can do is keep that, but just increase your activity levels, okay? So there's two things you can do. And for making sure, I really, truly, truly, truly wanna make sure that this happens, that if you're going to decrease your calories, don't do it by a massive amount. Please don't do 1,200 calories a day. Making sure that you're consuming a lot of calories. You may just need to increase your activity levels. That's pretty much all you need to do. Start to include more resistance training. Don't just do cycling and running. Start to include some weights. That's gonna help you out massively. So I really hope that you enjoy this video. Uh, please leave me any comments or questions that you may have. And until I see you in the next video, remember to love all living things and most importantly, love thyself.